going to show you how you can make a radial symmetry design. In this case, I'm choosing a uh, polygon, a hexagon, and I made the uh, radius 50 millimeters. And I'm using the offset tool to draw another hexagon inside five millimeters away. I'm going to turn this into a component protect it so they don't fuse, the copies don't fuse together. I moved it towards the origin and I'm going to turn that and copy it. I press control to do that. 360 degrees enter slash how many copies you want in this five, six, and so on. And decide which one looks better to you. I think I like this. I like six copies better. So I'm going to go inside the component, double click, and um, I can move that, the content of the component to see how it changes the design, and whether I like it or not. I can move the content or turn the com content to see. You have to experiment to see what you like best. There's really no secret. Just have to look and decide for yourself which one is best. You could also ch change um, the content. Whatever is inside gets copied to all the um, copies of the component. So I made uh, um, curved lines using the circle tool. I'm going to move the parts I don't need, including the inside here. I think it looks fine. It is flat, but I'm going to use the push-pull tool to give it thickness. I raised it five millimeter, which is half a centimeter. I can color it. Uh, I'm going to make it all black first except for the top uh, face. I'm going to, to choose a different color for that. So the black would make uh, my color stand out. In this case, it's, it's blue. You can choose any color you like. It's just for me to see how it looks. And if it's 3D printing, uh, really doesn't matter. Um, so what I have here is six copies of a component. Each component is actually solid. If you look at them, you can see it's a six solid components in the model. Now you can turn that into an outer shell. Now you have a solid group. This is 3D printable. You could also use uh, t text fonts and using WebDing and capital Y's uh, for heart. Or you can draw that yourself either way. So I use the uh, at 50 millimeter height, and uh, no ex extrusion, just flat. I do the same thing. This is a component, so I'm going to go inside. Again, use the offset tool to make a copy inside. And I'm going to remove the middle. Do the same thing I did with the other design. Move it towards the uh, origin. Use the turn tool. Press Control for copying. 360 Enter slash how many copies you want. You just have to try different numbers to see what's best. Slash whatever number you want. Five, six, whatever you like. Sometimes less is more. Okay, so let's look at this design again, six copies. As I said before, you can uh, move or turn the content of a component to see what happens to, to the overall design. And experiment until you get the desired um, effect. Yes, and there's no magic, there's no... Uh, magic trick you just keep moving it until
until you like what you see. Okay. I think it's not too bad. Okay, remember it, this is flat, so I'm going to use the push and pull, raise it five millimeters. And here it is. That's my design. 